Welcome back. I wanna show you how to allow users to override in Microsoft Endpoint DLP. Here I have a Word document that has a sensitivity label applied to it. When I try to copy that Word document over to a, say a USB stick, that's gonna violate my policy. And down here in the lower right hand corner, you can see the toast notification letting me know that that action's not allowed. Same thing if I were to uh, copy this text out of the document and try to paste into something like uh, Notepad, that's not allowed as well, and I'll, I'll get a, a toast notification for that too. So how do I allow users to override this? Maybe for certain individuals or documents maybe are legitimate, whatever the case may be. Well, I need to go in and edit my endpoint DLP policy. So here's my policy in the compliance, Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. And when we go to my DLP rules, and I scroll through this, remember the actions I talked about in a previous video? Right now they're set to block. I need to change these to block with override. So let's go ahead and do that. And then let's save this. We'll wait about 30 minutes to an hour, and then we'll come back and test this, and it should allow us to override it. Okay, let's test this. I'm gonna take that sensitive file and I'm gonna drag it over to my USB stick. There's the toast notification, except now it has the allow button. So I'm just gonna click allow and then I'm going to drag it over again and now it allows it. Perfect. Uh, let's try this again with cut, copy, paste. So let's copy out that sensitive text. Let's paste it into notepad. There's the toast notification, but if I click allow, and do paste again, whoops, let's copy it. There it goes, it allows me to paste it. Let's try to do this with printing. I'm gonna print. There's toast notification, but if I click allow, and then I try to print again, I can now print it. Uh, let's try this one more time by uploading this document to my personal email before this was blocked. So let's just add this as an attachment for my personal email. And there's the, uh, there's the block, but notice I now have the override button. So if we click on override, it now attaches the file. Perfect. So folks, that's how you do the override in Endpoint DLP. Stay tuned for the next video because we got a lot more coming on Endpoint DLP.